Okay, so Brown Brown is heated because ESPN they dropped Brownie from the 2024 mock draft. So make sure to watch this clip, and then I'm gonna give you all my opinion when it comes to this. LeBron defends Bronny after he's dropped from 2024 NBA mock draft. Bronny was removed from ESPN's 2024 mock draft and has been projected to be picked in 2025. He tweeted and later deleted. Can y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball? The work and the results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do. If y'all don't know, he doesn't care what a, map, a mock draft says. He just works, earn, not given. Uh, ESPN Central definitely reported. And to all the other kids out there striving to be great, just keep your head down, blinders on, and keep grinding. These mock drafts doesn't matter one bit. I promise you, only the work matters. Let's talk real basketball, people. God wasn't going to double bless you. He was not going to give you that talent and turn around and give it to your son. Right. I mean, one or two things happen. Either the day, I mean, look, we've seen a lot of players play to have a father son. Right. Um, Ken Griffey Sr., Ken Griffey Jr. Right. Ba right. Ba uh, Bobby Bonds, Barry Bonds. Felipe Alou, Moises Alou. I mean, Vlad Guerrero and his son, Vlad Jr. So we've seen a lot of that. We've seen Archie Manning, he has Peyton and Eli. But Archie, as good as he was, he wasn't Peyton. And my son didn't want that right. because he didn't want, because every time your dad would have caught that, man, your dad made that play. He right. he just got tired. Your uncle, man, you know how, man, your, woo. And right. so he just did like, nah, dad, I don't, I don't, and I'm cool with it. Right. I, I, I never forced my kids in any direction. Whatever right. you choose, same. Because I didn't want him to get 25, 30 and say, I only did this because of you. Right, right, right. No, Same. no, no. You Same. did that because of you. That's what you wanted to do. Right. But I think the thing is, look, the, the comparison was going to be there. But LeBron has to be careful. Is that when LeBron, when when Junior Bronny plays well, mm -hmm. and then you say, well, he's better than some players in the NBA. Because people are going to people are gonna remember you said that. Right. And so that's what you have to be careful. And I understand that's his son. What's he supposed to say? He's supposed to believe that his, that his son is as good as some current NBA players. But right. you have to be careful of that. Because they're like, hold on, wait a minute. A high school kid is as good as players in the NBA? You could have said that about LeBron, that LeBron as a high school senior was as good as some players in the NBA. And you would have been absolutely right. Right, yeah. I don't believe you could. Maybe. But if you look at Kobe's rookie year, could you have said that in high school? Maybe. But there was no, there was the definitive, definitive. That LeBron James was better than some current NBA players when he was a senior in high school. Right. No question. He was 6'9", probably 200 pounds, could jump out, the, could jump out, could play all five positions. Yeah. He was a guard, but he could play the two, the three, the four, the five. He could do it all. Yeah. But because Bronny doesn't possess his dad's athleticism or size, it's different. And so, and, and plus LeBron has to understand, bro, he going to get strays because of you. Yeah. That's even what you have to understand. You know the funny thing? With LeBron, even if LeBron didn't say anything, he's going to cast a straight just in general, just because of who your father is in general. Yes! Just yes! Because. But I think Bronny knows that, and Bronny has the type of temperament where he doesn't really care. He doesn't really care. You can't. Like it's just like water off a duck's back. And you can't. Like, Unless, there have only been a handful of, I think, the Halls, uh, 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 Brent, Bobby Hall, yeah. played hockey. Yeah, and both the father and the son is in the, in the Hall of Fame, right. but it doesn't happen. Maybe there's maybe there's like a situation in baseball. I know Felipe; he had a brother named Matty, and his son Moises. They all played, but I don't know if Felipe. I don't think Moises is in the Hall of Fame. I don't think Felipe is in the Hall of Fame or right. Matty. But it, it's a rarity that you look at Kareem, you look at Magic, you look at Jordan, you look at Jordan. I mean, come on, bro! You actually think God will give you all of that and give your son that ability too? Did, did his son hoop too? No, I think I think he ended up. Uh, I think he ended up playing at uh, uh, UCF, but he's he's in high school. Let him let him play. Right. He'll develop. He's gonna be what he's gonna be. Right, right. He's right. gonna be what he's gonna be. But let him let him be that. Because I like, like I said, it, it's tough. I don't envy either one because I don't know what they expected. LeBron. I mean, my son. I mean, if I had a son that was playing sports and and wanted to go to the next level, hell yeah, I'm gonna hype him up. I give you an example. My brother said the same thing. Yeah. My brother used to say, used to tell his college teammates, like, my brother is good enough. My brother can start here in South Carolina. Uh, he would always say, oh, yeah, he's going he to play. I mean, it's going to take him a while because he's not advanced because he didn't get the coaching that I got. But give him a couple of years. I don't begrudge LeBron for hyping his, from hyping his son. Hell, my brother hyped me. But obviously, our relationship is very similar. Even though he's not my dad, he, right. was, he was my role model. So everything that he did, I wanted to do. But I, but I get it. But people, people are looking to pounds. I mean, I, 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 don't get no, I don't get a reason why you want to beat, beat a kid up. Because at the end of the day, he's still a kid. Regardless of who his dad is, 
He's a 19 year old kid. I think he's 19. I think he's a 19 year old kid. LeBron is doing so well. There's really nothing you can say about him. So, what's the first thing you do? What's the first angle you take? Okay. Take a shot at the kid. Take a, take a shot at the kid. It, it's hard for me, Ocho, to like dislike someone that I didn't, I've never met. And, and LeBron has to understand it's the same thing that he was saying about Lonzo, that Lonzo was better than Steph Curry. And people are like, bro, are you serious? The man is an MVP. The man is a champion. And you try to say your son that's in college is better than him. He's better than Russ. He's better than this. Come on, LeBron. I understand. Hype your kid up. Got to. But you're talking about, first of all, there's only 400 players in the world that says I'm an NBA player. 400. There's 8 billion people. 400 could call themselves NBA players. Now, I'm current NBA players. Now, you might have been a retired player or you might have played in the NBA and now you're overseas, but I'm saying current. Right, right, right. There's only 400 men can say that. Right. And so you saying your son that's in college is better than one of the two. At the time, Steph Curry was arguably the, the one of two best players in all the world. Mm -hmm. But your son in college is better. So people are like, come on, LeVar. Now, I understand that you believe your son can play in the NBA, but damn, why right. you had to go to Steph? And so that's the that's the approach that people took with LeBron. They're like, LeBron, okay, I get it. You love your son, and we're glad that you're in the life. But come on, bro. In the NBA, he better than NBA players than high school. Okay, so as you saw in the clip, LeBron James has apparently said that his son is better than some NBA players. That may be the truth, but I don't think there is no reason for Bron Bron to get mad because ESPN dropped Bronny from the mock draft. I guess what Bron needs to do is just work harder and eventually if he has a talent, he will make the league. But at this point, I am absolutely 100% sure that Bronny is going to make the league just because of his father. Because he's been averaging 5 points per game, and that's not good. And that is the reason why he didn't make the mock draft list. So if you look at, example, Alonso Ball, Lamella Ball, they were averaging probably 20 points or 25 points per game. And that's the reason why they were drafted on the first place and second place. So at this point, we just have to wait and see if Bronny, if he can improve. So let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure to leave a comment and watch next videos I got for you.